one of the things that I'm really passionate about is with kids and our, and our youth is really tapping into purpose early. Really getting them to realize that they were created for more. And that's, that's a task because kids are used to, you know, their peers and, and, and what big brother, what big sister's doing. And that's a task. But I really feel deep down inside that there's hope there. I really feel like literally the youth of today will be running the world in the next 20 years. And I feel like I play a part in that. I feel like I have a responsibility to inject purpose in a time such as this. And so, and so when I talk to kids, I like to talk about three things and to really bring it home. And that's, and that's uh, preparation, the importance of preparation and just letting kids know that there's no substitute for hard work. Like you gotta do the hard work. You can't, you, there's no way around it. Like I tell kids all the time, like I can tell you, you know, I can get up here and say, look, you know, it's, it's not gonna be hard. You don't have to do all this. You don't have to do all that. But I will be setting them up for failure. So there's no substitute for hard work. You gotta prepare. You gotta outgrind everybody around you. Everybody you know, you have to do that. And then, and then I like to tell kids that you gotta show up. Like that's one thing now with, with Instagram, with Facebook, with social media, just at, at an all time high. I mean, like people, they have more access now to technology than you know some some 40 year 40 year olds had their whole lives so i mean like it's a different world we live in now so pushing the message of show up it's like reminding them and letting them know you got to be present you got to be in the moment like if you're in a situation where you can learn you got to soak that up you got to be a sponge and i think i think when kids connect with that and they realize that yeah you know i have I have over a million thoughts a day, but I have to control them. I have to take control of them. So if I want to be successful in whatever it is, then I have to I have to gauge those thoughts. I have to be intentional about that. And then I like to talk to kids about bring your A game. I'm passionate about bring your A game because kids battle with peer pressure. And and when they're out on the field, when they're out in school, whatever, it's a natural inclination to minimize yourself to make the other person feel better. To make to make somebody to make somebody else feel like you know you're not showing off or make somebody else feel like you know you fit in you don't fit in that's the truth you have a purpose for a reason because you're different so you got to bring your a game every single time and don't stop comparing ourselves to the next person and especially with our youth like you got to stop comparing yourself to you know the the, the 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 grade ahead of you you know like what that class did or 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 the, the people next to you no you got to compare yourself to you outperform yourself you got to be willing to outwork your work every single day every every single time you do whatever it is outperform yourself and if we can get that into our youth now it'd be crazy but but i feel like that that responsibility uh is heavy with me because how can i be the purpose fanatic and not be intentional about raising up young purpose for that. Show up. Show up. Show up. Show up. Bring your A game. Bring your A game.